I have the Instax Link Y300. Let's dive deep into the world of Instax. John Doe is in the house. This is the Fujifilm Instax Link Y300. It's an instant photo printer. It connects to my phone via Bluetooth to print on this film stock. This is the Instax white film stock. Now, if you're anything like me, this will trigger some of your photography sensors to the fun that the world of Instax could provide. Come on, look at these prints over here. It's so much fun to get our photos printed as a gift or a personal journal thing or anything at all. For now, let's dive in and see how the printer actually works. First up, to work with the Instax White, you'll require the Fujifilm Instax White app that's available in the App Store. Once downloaded, the Instax link connects like how anyone connects any Bluetooth devices like the headphones. Once it's paired up, for the very first time, the unit connects to my phone automatically when it's turned on. Now this is the Fujifilm Instax Share SP1. It's also an Instax printer. Uh, it's an Instax mini printer from at least 10 years ago. The printer connects via Wi-Fi uh, to the phone. Well, quite reliably, I gotta add. Just that oftentimes it takes a while to detect the Wi-Fi signal. More often than not, I have to go into the settings to force connect to its Wi-Fi network if I want a quicker response. Now, with the new Instax Link Wide and with Bluetooth 4.2, the Instax Link is certainly a welcome improvement because it connects instantly when the printer turns on. We then select the photo that we want to print from the phone's gallery and hit print. It's as simple as that. The printout is almost instantaneous, just a couple of seconds to let the phone communicate with the printer and once printed, the Instax takes about a minute and a half to fully develop as a print. You know, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Well, you don't have to shake it. Not with the Instax. The app has bells and whistles to make journaling and printing more fun. Stickers from the phone emojis to custom stickers that we can make from drawing on a piece of paper or in my case, on my iPad. For the more advanced embedded QR codes that can be used to link onto a website or an audio message or a secret text when scanned with the phone's camera. Although, you know, for me, <laughs> I, I'm quite a purist. I like my photos to be as vanilla as possible, almost without any stickers, nor any QR codes, just letting the print shine by itself. But of course, if you are giving the print to a customer or to anybody, I can see the value of embedding these extra messages to the instant photo, be it a audio, or just opening a website. In this case, is my URL of my photography work for my wedding photography business. How's the print quality? And I hear you guys asking. Well, my short answer, I do like them. The dynamic range and the accuracy of the colors when compared to the on-screen mobile phone before it prints, of course, it's not the world's most accurate representation, nor it will be able to rival my 8-ink tank dye ink printer that prints on a cotton-based fine art paper. The print looks good enough though. It pops enough, it's enough to retain details in a photo. It is certainly glossy, you can see it. And it's an instant print. It has a certain nostalgic look to it. It is certainly not perfect. And it's that reason and perhaps why we all fall in love with the Instax because of that certain look. There's a little bit of my um, fingerprint right now, I guess. <laughs> the camera built-in battery is rated for 100 prints. This one per charge. That's like going through 10 Instax boxes of 
flim before you need a charge again. Now, I'm sure it varies on how differently we're going to be using the printer. We can certainly top up the battery by charging it with the micro USB port that's at the bottom over here. And uh, micro USB in 2024, come on. Okay, to be fair, this printer has been in the wild for the past two plus years, but I guess back in 2021 and 2022, USB-C was already a thing, don't you think? So I don't understand why. But saying so, having the battery that's built with 100 prints per charge is like having an EV car that can go a thousand kilometer per charge. Do I need such a huge battery capacity, if you ask me? Well, perhaps no, but it does gives the comfort and confidence in using it. Now, the other pet peeves that I do have with the printer is this. This is the Instax Share SP1. It has these LED indicators on the top that shows how many more prints available in the printer. Oh, you also have the LED indicator for the battery. While the Instax Link white design is clean because, you know, it's minimalist and it also missing LEDs to tell me how many prints that's available inside this printer. Form over function, I guess. Or are there any other reasons? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Type it in, let me know. And the only way I know how many more prints available in this printer is through connecting the printer to the app that indicates how many print left or even the batteries well i think i've covered as much as i could on the functionality of the printer the rest of my opinion over here is about my purchase decision now not sure if it's relevant to you so if you are interested hear me out so you've decided or rather, I've decided that I'm purchasing an instant printer of this style. Which one should I get? Because in the marketplace, there are some competition out there. But the goal is, I wanted the biggest print on a portable printer with no wires attached that can make a good print. While a lot of manufacturers fit that context, what I think is important is also the longevity and trust of the ecosystem. Now, I've used gadgets that if the brand no longer exists or at the end of the product life cycle, uh, no more support available, albeit I have a functioning hardware. And after a while, the software stops working because of an OS update and the gadget just stopped working. Or perhaps in the context of an instant camera or a printer, the proprietary print stocks may stop production and we may not be able to get the film stock anymore. Now, the Fujifilm Insects ecosystem has been around for years and more importantly, it is very popular out there. And while there isn't a guarantee that the product line is available in the future, it is likely to continue and hopefully thrive. I'm rooting for you, Fujifilm. And that means this Insects film, being the Y or the Mini or even the Square, will be widely available. The app will be updated if there is a breakage through an OS update on a phone, be it a iOS or even uh, Android devices. And perhaps, who knows, a new printer later in years to come. Now, the Instax Share SP1 is a 10-year-old printer. The Instax Share app still works today and it connects to the printer easily as how it was shaped from day one. But of course, over the years, uh, I think the print no longer good anymore. I tried printing one and the colors just not developing well. But as a standard record, this, uh, this device is still supported until today. Oh, did I mention it does ship together with say this thing over here that holds the Instax camera and also a lanyard uh, that is somewhere in the box, I think. So. There you go, a lengthy review of the Instax Link Y. <laughs> I bought the Instax camera uh, as part of the content production for this YouTube channel. Now, if you haven't watched my last photo walk where I was reviewing the 50mm 1.2, I was giving away some prints on the street while I'm photographing. So I thought that's the very least that we can do as a photographer while making content on the street. Also, perhaps for the upcoming weddings, I can print on the fly and surprise my client with an Instax print. Kind of nice, right? I mean, it's an instant 
print and they name it Instax print. It's like it rolls off the tongue. I needed the printer to be portable, fast in terms of connectivity to my phone and print without any hassle. So far, the Instax is fitting the bill. Do stay tuned for more ways I'm going to be using the Instax as I have some plans with it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe you if you haven't. Like the video if it gives you any value. I'll see you guys on the next video.